Jaden cast two hard to get town players. First of all, Jade, how did you get into football? What age did you start? I started at a very young age and it was my granddad that got me into football. He gave me my first football and I've never looked back since. What, what about you, Kaz? Um, well, I'm from Poland and when I came to UK um, I got spotted by a Celtic manager and that's how I got about playing football. I always loved football and have had a go and I really loved it so that's where I started. Who was the Celtic manager? Um, his name was um, Frank Um Jade, how did you get into Harry Town? I knew John from America. I played over there for six years, and my coach at the time is one of John's good friends. So when I came back, I was looking for a team to play for, and reached out to John and got in here. How did you get into Harry Town? Um, it was from social media. I saw and I contacted uh, Jay. Uh, Jay, um, what is your highlight of your career so far? Um, I spent six years out in America playing and uh, I loved every minute of it. Well done, Ruby. And I'd probably say, as a whole, that was my highlight. What's your start of your career? So, I guess I would say uh, playing for all these ladies when I was 16 years old. What's your best goal for Harry Town so far? Best goal? Uh, so many. <laughs> no, there's not a lot to choose from. I don't know, that's a tough question. Hopefully I'll score my best one. Well, what's your best one? Last season, there was a volley last game where Lewis and uh, 3-2 scored 100% one matches last season. That's really, really good. Uh, where do you want to be at the end of your career? I'm hoping Happy after I've finished playing, can go into coaching. Started coaching here at Harrogate PDC on a Friday night, um, so I'm hoping eventually I can go into coaching after I finish playing. Where do you want to be at the Harrogate? I have absolutely no idea. To be honest, we'll see. I'm here with Emma, one of the Harrogate Town players. Emma, how did you get into football, and what age did you start? Um, I started playing when I was 14, just because I started at secondary school. So I started playing for the school team, and then I joined the local village team. And the rest is history. How did you start? How did you enter Harrogate Town? Um, well, I started working in Harrogate, and then the next thing I'm speaking to Jed on the phone, and he's asking if I want to come down training. So came along, and we're a really good club. What's your highlight of your career so far? I won't call it career, um, but I think it was probably when I scored the other week. Um, it was the thirteenth goal, mine, so it kind of lost a bit of its charm, but. That's probably it. Well, what's your best Harry Guitar so far? That one, it's the only one. <laughs> <laughs> um, where do you want to be in your career? Um, if I can keep playing for another couple of years, I think I'll have done well without any injuries. So we'll have to see how it goes. What's your biggest game so far for Harry Guitar? Um, I think it was our game against All Tops because they were expecting to win. Um, and we gave them a good run for money and ended up beating them 5 1. So. Last question, what do you think of Ben Sapper's training? Um, yeah, you're right, he does like to moan a lot, but he's, he's alright. <laughs> he's good, he's good, he knows what he's doing. I'm here with Lindsay, the Harrogate Town captain, and first of all, how did you get into football and what age did you start? So, I started football when I was about six years old. Um, it all started in, um, in my hometown, Somerset, um, at the kids' carnival. The girls' football team were just advertising um, for new players, so me and my sister. And took a flyer, went along, and what have we stopped since then? What was the first team you played for? Uh, Froontown. So um, their their younger team was called Froontown Legions. Um, so that was the first team. How did you get into Harry at Town? So um, from Leeds, uh, that's why I live at the minute. And when um, John was setting up the, the women's team, um, just heard about it. Obviously, just through sort of knowing a few people in the area. Um, so I got invited down. To, to their sort of open trials in the summer um, for the start of last season and, um, and really enjoyed it. How long have you been hiring at Town Captain? So since the start of last season, so the 2016-17 um, season, um, they asked me to be captain um, from, from the start, from the first game. What was your best ever goal for Harrogate Town? Oh, best ever goal. Now I've not scored many goals for <laughs> Harrogate Town because I am a centre-back, um, but there was one uh, one last season uh, it came in from a corner um, from from M and it was just a big powerful head into the top. I absolutely loved it. Um, what's your highlight of Harrogate Town so far? 
this season um, I think it's just the way we sort of hit all the challenges so last season we were very successful we won all our games really comfortably there was quite a lot of pressure on us this year to um, to obviously meet those expectations if not exceed them so um, that's been I think, the biggest challenge this year is to make sure we keep that form and we're doing, doing alright so far Where do you want to be at the end of your career? End of my career I want to be at a club that I absolutely love being at um, and I still want to be enjoying my football um, so I'm 26 now so hopefully I've got a few more years in me um, but yeah I just want to be somewhere where I'm still really really enjoying it Last question what do you think of Ben Sanders training? Ben Sanders training? <laughs> oh we all love Ben Sanders don't we? Um, training's fun. We'd, it's unfortunate we only get to train once a week. We'd all love to do it more, on, uh, more to be honest. Um, but yeah, we all, love, we all get stuck in. Um, it gets us one for Sunday. Right, guys, I'm here with John, the Harrogate Town manager. And John, how are the team prepared this week for uh, the game against Sheffield? Well, we've prepared well for this week. To be fair, we've been preparing probably for the last three or four weeks, really. We've had games called off, which has been frustrating. Uh, but the girls have trained really well. Uh, trained down here every Wednesday. Uh, and they'll be they'll be fully ready for this game, I think, and chomping at the bit, as I say, because they've had a three, four week break, so they'll be ready to go. How long have you been involved with Harriet Town? Well, uh, now that is a long time. So when I returned back from America in 2009, uh, I played for the first team for a year, and then the pre-season after that. Uh, and I know, obviously, I know Simon, the manager, really well. Uh, and then it was a case of probably two years ago when we started the women's team, uh, came back and got involved, but. I've been coming down to games and everything like that, so it's kind of been on and off really for the last kind of eight, nine years. Is it the biggest game of the season? I think it is, yeah. We've got four games to go. Uh, Sheffield have always been a good team. Uh, I know it'll be a tough test for us today. As I say, the girls are ready, so I think, yeah, it's the, the biggest game of the season so far. Where do you see the team going in two years? Well, that is a very good question. Obviously, we've got a good squad together. Uh, both first team and development so we've got young players coming through so looking at it hopefully uh, we can go up this year keep the same squad together uh, we're confident they can do a good job in the league above uh, so hopefully we'll be keep, keep the club pushing forward over the next two years Who's Harrogate Town's ladies longest serving player? There's, uh, there's a few actually obviously Captain Lindsay Whitten who you've spoken to uh, I think she was here kind of first training session uh, we were lucky enough to pick up three girls from Rotherby when we first started in Kelly, uh, Grace and Becky Davies, who've all been kind of involved all the way through uh, and they've added real quality kind of as the months have gone on as well. How far is the ladies game going? How far? It's, it's a good question. It's pushing, pushing forward at the moment, as you can see today. 140 girls between the age of 9 and 12 uh, playing at CNG Stadium. Uh, the quality at the top of the at the top end with the women's national team is coming on all the time like third in the third in the world so for me they've got a great great opportunity this summer uh, to go and win a competition uh, and just keep inspiring uh, the young players throughout the nation